Thanks for tuning in here on a beautiful Tuesday, BTW 21 Sports, going right back to the Bulldogs 6-0. All the seniors was as super stoked that not only did they win the game, but it was homecoming as well. And this is what some of the students, our players, had to say about it. Yeah, it was, a, it was a rough start. Line got to block better. We got to run the ball better. We got to play defense better. I mean, we all got to play as a unit and like build on our days. Like, if, if yesterday was a good day, we got to have a great day next week. I mean, next practice. Mm, a little bit, a little bit. We all we all had a little pep rally and stuff. It was a little hyped up. We was laughing, more playing, serious. It's great. It's a great feeling because you don't really get too many homecomings. Like as a senior, this is my last one, so I just try to take advantage of it. It was rough, but we had to go in at halftime and get everything together. A lot of our teammates were trying to um, point fingers at each other, but we just had to come together and come together as a team, play one way, and that helped us out in the second half. It's kind of hard, but we got to think of it as practice. At practice, when somebody mess up, we pick them up, so we got to do the same thing in the game. Very important, very important. And back to that one way thing, it just, it really helped us as a team since the beginning of the year. Because, you know, we really had a hard time playing together, but that helped us play together. It, like I said, a lot of pointing fingers, a lot of bad talking about each other, but we got each other white right in the weight room at practice. We made each other work hard, and that's what made us better, and that brought us together as a team. All right, says, see, I ain't going to doing practice. A lot of people were sleeping. I told them we can't sleep on a game like this. This is homecoming, and we need to be 6 and 0. Every team that we play right now is trying to go against our head. So we need to come prepared and stay focused. I practice, I practice well, I lock in, I keep my head in the game, I keep my head in the locker room, the weight room in school, stay out of trouble and stay out the drama. It's very important because nobody want to have a losing record. Even us, we grew up, I ain't like, we all grew up since eighth grade and we know each other very well. So like, you feel me? We want to win, we want to go, we want to go far. We don't want to go this, we don't do that. It's a family, it's a unit. We come together, we always stay one way, we stay as a family, we all love each other. It's very important because they pay seven dollars again that game. They ain't got to pay seven dollars again that game. So we gotta show love back when they show love to us coming to the game and support. Hey, that's for our fans and the coaching staff and everybody in the community. You know, yeah, first, first of all, you know, you kick it. I thought I was gonna bobble it, but you know, I caught it, seen the breaking lane, took off. Um, I don't wanna say I, I ain't get too happy, but you know, I got a little excited. Just you know, get actually team a little push at the beginning of the game, air, get everybody ready to go next drive. Um. I wouldn't say yes or no. Some people did get kind of iffy about winning the homecoming and forgetting about the actual football game we care to play for. So a little bit, but not really. We got to stack when we go to practice. We got to have good practice Monday, good practice Tuesday, even better Wednesday, even better Thursday, that's all. And, you know, we got our rivals next week, so we got to come ready. Oh, the excitement, excitement. Uh, yeah, when he, I, when I seen him when he first kicked it off, I told Jamal Jones to follow me, and I, I took him away. So yeah, number 66, he a great player on, defense, on the defensive line. He gave us a little bit of trouble then. We went to halftime and started making adjustments, and then they started working from there. My line on one of them, and one of them, I had to get rid of it as fast as I could. And my receiver, he made two big plays for me. I, and yeah. So he preached about, he preached about that since day one. He actually got that from the Bible, for real, for real. Yeah, so. We, we stick to that motto, so we all stick together for real. It's, it's very important, because I feel like if we don't stick to it, we probably fall apart and we keep going downhill, but if we stick to it, you feel me, we'll we stay together. And now we'll take a look at our past scores from Friday night. Again, the Marshall Bulldogs, 19 over the Cavaliers, 9. The Magnavista Warriors, 34 to 14 over Halifax County. The Bengals, big win against the Cougars, 50 to 14. Again, game of the week this week will be the Marshall Bulldog travels to Magnavista. Dan River, 34 over Alta Vista's 14. And GW Eagles, 34 to Tunstall Trojans, 6. Franklin County had a big win over Stanton River Golden Eagles.
That's going to wrap it up for us today in sports. Tune in tomorrow on Hump Day. We'll have a little bit more uh, of the action that's coming up this Friday. And uh, get out and support your local high schools. Until tomorrow, thanks for tuning in. Hi, Barry Nelson here. Nelson Kia Subaru, Bass and Fork. Payment Central. We got a 2018 Hyundai Santa Fe for only $249 a month. That's a deal. Here's your deal, a 2018 Equinox, only $292 a month. Here's your pretty little red car, a 2021 Forte with only 20,000 miles, $292 a month, only $292 a month. Can't beat this, a 2018 Toyota Corolla, only $249 a month, only $249 a month. We got a 2015 Impreza all-wheel drive for only $267 a month, and it's got good miles. Got a great little SUV here, 2017 Forester Limited for only $289 a month. Come on down to Nelson Kia Subaru. We got great payments, great deals, where everybody knows cars cost less.